Commercial flights at the spaceport have been years in the making. Construction began in 2009. Now, Virgin Galactic, one of the spaceport's first tenants, will be launching the first commercial flight, a boost to New Mexico's economy. I think the bottom line is, is that now that they're able to start flying, paying customers, um, and that's a big deal, um, uh, now they start an income stream. And That's so the executive director of the New Mexico Museum of Space History. He says commercial space flights for the average American still have a long way to go. One thing to realize is that we're in the early days of commercial space flight, similar to what we were in the aviation world 100 years ago. Um, we're seeing the exact same things happen now. This small town is less than 30 miles away from the place people can make their space dreams a reality. Space experts say this will ultimately help places like Truth or Consequences. But we also have the continuous impact of, of uh, what will eventually be at least 400 employees in the area. And that doesn't include our other tenants. So we have several other tenants at the site who are doing flights for high altitude. The Spaceport Authority's executive director, Scott McLaughlin, says Virgin Galactic has 300 employees in Las Cruces. This is something Spaceport America has been waiting for. What I'm looking forward to is that regular cadence and that regular economic impact and, and putting Spaceport America and New Mexico on the map. The flights are a step toward the future. At Spaceport America, Stephanie Muniz, KWT Action 7 News. Thank you, Stephanie. According to Spaceport America, truth or consequences tends to get more short term visitors and construction jobs, while Las Cruces has most of the spaceport employees.